from here. Okay, then you can press this lever here again. Okay. Just that just now, okay, what happened just now was that when you when you thread, this hand needs to let go of the thread. Because you were holding on to the thread, so it didn't manage to pull more in, but it did go through. Alright, nice. Now, if you want to be able to control the footer and feeling, you can remove your shoe. Just wear your socks. Now you step all the way. Just step. Let's do a step. Yay! Ain't that a nice feeling? All right. I want you to try both different scissors, so you'll just take turns to use these two scissors, okay? This is a CM ruler. This is a CM and inches ruler. Now my question to you is, one inch equals to how many CM? One inch is equals to how many CM? One inch is equal to two point five CM. Okay, why am I making a fuss over this? Because not every measuring tape and ruler is accurate. Okay, the moment it's not accurate, you basically do blah. Unless you only carry use that one ruler. So make sure that whatever measuring tools that you use, you make sure that one inch is equal to 2.5 cm. What is seam allowance? When you sew, you're going to eat into the fabric. Because when you flip it out, whatever, there's going to be, it's like, the side of your fabric here, right? There is this little bit. So you need to make sure that you give the seam allowance to ensure that you have a finished one that is actually 20 by 30. This is my finished one. If I don't add seam allowance now, it's going to finish maybe maybe 15 or 16, depending on how accurate your measurement your sewing is, maybe it becomes 15 by 10. We don't know. Okay? So we need to make sure that we add in the seam allowance, right? Oh, very good. The both of you are very natural at holding the chalk. Very good. Nazura, are you sure this is out already? Oh no! Yeah, so I move it up. Higher. Yeah, just move it higher. It's alright. You either use the ruler or the measuring tape to mark one time here, mark a second time, mark one more time. So okay. at least three spots. Then once you have three markers here, use the ruler to join the line. Okay. Right? Same thing for here. You measure here, measure here, measure here. Then you can draw a straight line to join all the way through. Okay, sorry. Well, Nazura really like to say fabric. <laughs> oh, no, <again. laughs> okay, okay. I mean, it's great. Just that sometimes it feels like we have to do a lot more work. Yes. <laughs> once you poke the first needle, your machine needle in, you can remove it, that's right. Christoph, watch your posture. Needle, footer down, needle, down. Remove the pin. Can? Is it hard? Okay. Okay, because it's very close. If Okay, one way if that happens again, then you can put the needle down first. Remove the pin, then your footer down. You get what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. So what what is the what is the sewing machine you're doing? It is replacing the needle that you had. Okay. You get what I mean? Yes, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, yes.
show what you made. <laughs> That's not what you made. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, nice voice. Toy noise. Yay, yay. <laughs> do you enjoy class? Yes. Definitely. What do you what do you remember the most? Middle up, footer yes. up. Middle down, footer down. <laughs> okay, till next time. See you next time. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.